Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. We've got a Kessley Marble 84 for you today. A really great blend of front side and all mountain performance. A little bit of an, more of an emphasis on that front side carving ability. Uh, pretty cool stuff from Kessley going on there. They've always been known for making very precise and energetic skis. And I think this Marble 84 is a wonderful example of that and kind of how they incorporate current and modern engineering into the ski uh, is, is pretty remarkable. Uh, from a construction standpoint, they are using their Symbio core technology. So they have a central uh, wood core made of poplar and basically that's sitting in a polyurethane frame. Uh, we talk about PU material being used in a lot of Dinastar skis and it's just kind of a lighter weight synthetic material, a, a plastic uh, that forms a frame. It delivers excellent uh, silence as well as good energy. And we've noticed that in, in Dina Star skis. Uh, certainly makes sense that it's going to fit in with a Kessley Marble 84 as well. So that wood core sits in that frame and then a single sheet of titanol on top. So we get the stability and dampness of the metal going along with the energy and light weight of the wood and that synthetic material. So pretty cool top end technology coming from Kessley here. A little bit of a step down sidewall. So cap top sheet, that's delivering good energy as well as pep. Uh, lightens the swing weight a little bit as well as it gets into the tips and tails and just delivers excellent energy as well as being more durable. So anytime you're rounding that top sheet, you're just making it a little bit more resistant to uh, chips and scratches and stuff like that. So another nod to the quality of this Marble 84. Then we get their hollow tech in the tip here. So by reducing mass in the forebody of the ski, any type of vibrations that go through it, you are, it's basically returning to normal faster because there's less mass that it has to go through. Uh, just making this thing feel pretty darn stable and solid. Uh, we do have this binding platform on here, usually accounts for about 150-200 grams. Uh, in the 166 here, we're at 1,685 grams, safe to say about 1,500 per ski. That's making it kind of on the lighter side, and uh, when you pair it with the uh, construction, it does make it quite reactive and energetic. Uh, in terms of shape and profile, you know, at 84 underfoot, that's a great place to be for a lot of different conditions and terrain. Uh, I think the, the, the overall footprint of the ski leans it more to the front side and on piece side of the spectrum, uh, but there's no denying that at 84 underfoot, there's some all mountain capacity here as well. Uh, so for bumps, packed out trees, kind of light off piste use, I think this is fine. Uh, definitely better suited for more on trail and linked carve turn activities. Produces a 15 meter radius mid range. I think that a ski like this, uh, you know, 84 underfoot with a 15 meter turn radius, uh, Kessley's making no secret that they're trying to hit kind of the middle of everything. So mid range turns, mid width shape. Uh, and that's kind of, that's what they're going for. So they're really trying to hit a lot in the middle. A lot of positive camber underfoot here. Anytime you see that energy built into the ski, you know it's going to be a pretty responsive item. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of tip rocker. That's kind of opening up slight soft snow performance. Low profile tip too. Uh, very smooth looking. Anytime that this thing is going to be closer to the snow, it's just making the ski smoother uh, and, and, and more reactive. Not a whole lot of taper going on here. Ski pretty much vectors out, so that's going to equate to a longer effective edge, uh, increasing that smoothness. And then not a lot of tail rocker, pretty much a direct, direct edge contact to the end, uh, really emphasizing that energy. Slightly rounded tail shape, slight taper here, just making it a little bit easier if you want to skid out of a turn uh, or you know, just be more playful and creative with your turn shapes and styles. Pretty good range here, um, intermediate through expert. I don't think that there's anyone that's going to be particularly overpowered by this ski and I think maybe on the other hand an aggressive expert may want a little bit more in terms of power and performance, uh, but uh, very happy in the mid-range. Make sure you check out this Kessley Marble 84 here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye!